In the following example, we are asked to find the sine of an angle A when B equals 24 and C equals 40. So these right here are side lengths, okay? So they're giving us the side lengths of some triangle. Now what we need to do first is sketch the triangle. So I'm going to sketch a right triangle because there's actually some information that I'm not telling you in what I wrote down, but this triangle is a right triangle, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem in order to answer this question, all right? But first, let me show you how to construct a triangle. Let's say that I call this angle A, I call this angle B, and I'm going to call this angle C, and angle C is the right angle, okay? Well, these are the three angles of the triangle. Now, the sides, to label the sides, it's always opposite of the letter. So if this is angle A, this opposite side here is side A. If this is angle B, the opposite side here is side B with a lowercase. And then this right here, if this is angle C, then this is side C. Now, it's important to always keep the right angle as side C because we're going to use the, the Pythagorean theorem and this will tell us a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And c always refers to the hypotenuse. Okay, so that's just part of the naming convention. So your triangle can be oriented different ways, but just remember opposite sides of the angles. And then angle c is opposite side c, the hypotenuse. And angle c is the right angle. Okay, so this is the sketch. Let's put in what we know. We know b is 24. We know C is 40, and we are asked to find the sine of the angle A, so let me just sketch the angle here. And the sine is, you recall, the sine of A is so, the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay, opposite over hypotenuse, and I'm gonna write that down right there. Now, let's see here. The sine of A is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Let me label also what I have. This is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. So I don't technically need the adjacent side for this calculation. However, I don't know the opposite side. I don't know side A. So I'm going to have to use the adjacent and the hypotenuse to find the opposite. And that's really simple. Okay, remember, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. All right, the Pythagorean theorem. So if you just manipulate that, a will then equal c squared minus b squared. Well, really the square root anyways. c squared minus b squared. So let's plug that information in. So a is going to equal, in this case, the square root of 40 squared minus 24 squared. Okay, I'll let you go ahead and do that in your calculator, but it's really simple you're gonna end up getting that the answer, the square root of whatever this is, happens to be 32. So in other words, this is 32 right here. So the sine of A being the opposite, which is 32, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 40. So the sine of the angle A is 32 over 40, and all you need to do then is reduce the fraction, and then you get 4 over 5, 4 fifths. So the sine of this angle A is simply 4 fifths.